how's the last year been like since you bookended a, a, a Best Actress win in Venice and now you went back to Venice and you win again, so what's the last year been like for you? Um, first, it was a huge, you know, surprise for me to take this prize because it's my first movie, I think, there. Yes. And I was doing just theater and no, not cinema at all. And I was even not trying to do that because I thought it was something else and other, you know, something else. Yes. But I met Athena and uh, I loved this project, Attenberg, so... And then I was very lucky with this prize. But first, actually, I was more kind of afraid and I just went to Athens and I started to do gymnastics for Yorgos film. Okay. So actually, I was working a lot just for this movie and I had... Uh, so that means he wrote, he wrote your part because from what I understand is that you're coming to acting from a theater experience yeah. type world but I mean your gymnastic skills were like insane and I was thinking oh maybe she has like a, I have a, back a I athletic have, background no I, I just did I was doing ballet a lot of okay. years when I was young but I started when I was 16 so okay. it was like more than 10 years ago so it was kind of very difficult to refine this body and to work on this <laughs> choreography with this ribbon. No, it was very difficult actually because I have this what's background. The, what's the name of the, the sport that you practice now? I know, I know it used to be in the Olympics, but I don't think it it's is there the, anymore. No. Is it? Yeah. I don't I mean, think so. I was so. following on YouTube. Really? Maybe, you know, maybe I've seen some old uh, Some things. older footage, because I think they took it out of the sport because it was maybe like... I don't really know about it. Okay, okay. <laughs> the name of it is, uh, in French, it's uh, Gymnastique Rhythmique et Sportive. Uh, Rith uh, rhythmic... Sport. Yeah, whatever. Rhythmic, yeah. Did you try out the ball? Yeah, they have I balls. Was not good. No, of course not. I was not good. Who would be good with those things and doing all those movements? <laughs> so, so I imagine it was a really rigorous uh, role physically. How, how much, how much training did you do to get? I think it's you do two choreographies. One that goes classical, and the other yeah. one, which I won't reveal because it's too hilarious. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so you did two choreographies, and then you were like monkey bars upside down. I mean, yeah. How much? pain did you go through to yeah, do all this stuff? Yeah, right, it is, no. no. It was th three months very, you know, intense. Just intense, but we didn't have a lot of money actually. So I didn't really, I didn't have a, a proper coach <laughs> every day, I didn't have a nutritionist to lose weight, I didn't have, you know, all the things that you have when you do yeah, a real when, movie yeah, with, yeah, yeah. Real, with money, yeah. <laughs> actually. So I was quite alone to do that. I just, you know, tried to make it as well, it, pa it, it passed off really well because I... Thank you. I, what was your initial reaction to reading about this character? Even before I read the script, he told me, do you think you, were, you are able to do gymnastic? Okay. And I say, because I mean, it's my fault, I say, yes, of course. Okay. Because it, <laughs> I'm yeah. like that. I mean, I'm just crazy. And yeah. I, I really love challenges. And I said, yeah, of course. You, you would have said the same thing for horseback yeah, riding whatever. or yes, whatever. I would say, yeah, of course. Of I course. Can do it because I really wanted to work with the audience. Of so course. So when he told me that, I say, whatever I would say, yeah, yeah. Course, and then I realized I read the script and I saw that you know that it's important in this. I mean, that you really see her doing gymnastics, it's not just like, yeah, let's pretend it, there's no cutaway. I mean, there's like the, the camera's there, yeah, yeah. So, so I was very afraid, but okay, I when I read the script, it was not about that, so I was I was very excited because I love the um, humor that they have together with Ethimis Philippe and yours. Mm -hmm. that, of course, this humor, this black humor that you can also find in Doctor, mm -hmm. and I really love it. So when I read the script, I was like, you know, this thing that you. And there's obviously a, a crying and laughing. There's the a time. there's a good comfort level when you when you I mean you do some pretty crazy scenes in Annenberg with them if I remember correctly. So I mean that director actor trust was developed just through the actor actor rapport I guess you built with them. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I work with them, I, I think nine years because <clears throat> I believe in what they do, I trust them. I mean, we're kind of team now, and I think we all agree about what we are ser searching for, and it's a matter, yeah, we trust each other a lot. Now, I'm sorry, going back, and I forgot to ask you this before, but I was shocked, I was absolutely floored to learn that... Um, that you won a Best Actress prize for a language that you're, <laughs> is not even your mother tongue. You're actually from France, you're born in France. 
I'm born in Greece, but both of my parents are French. Okay. And I stay in Greece until six years old. Okay. So when I did that in Greek, it didn't speak Greek. So I had a coach to... So learn. your parents didn't speak Greek at all? No, no. Okay. No, I just went to Greece because I love this country, but I was not speaking the language. I just okay. like it. And I, it was three years ago now. So when I did Attenberg, I was in Greece for one year and I was just speaking, you know, just for food and yeah, yeah, basic yeah. stuff. Yeah, I couldn't Bars, say what Marina yeah. is saying in the movie. It's like, yeah. So was it, was, a, was it phonetically fed to you? I mean, did you just like, you would learn the lines by heart and you just like... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was, yeah, you see, it's like that. I, she told me, you think you're able to do it? And I said, of course I'm able to do it. <laughs> you take up all challenges. <laughs> yeah, um, I love challenges. Yorgos and he said that um, he didn't give too much background information about the character so you, you basically stuck with the script did you did you try to like do you did you bother trying to figure out what her story was how did she get in such a wacko place to begin with and and like being like menaced and loved by this like weirdo coach did you did you like do you try to figure out that lineage or is it something that you say no like let's just concentrate on the scene like no yeah. how do you approach that material when yeah. you get something like that actually we all agree and it's the same for Agile Kipa Puglia we all know that we don't we don't like to work in this psychological way or trying to find you know background or something mm -hmm. but I I also have a way to do that I think without thinking of it but I put myself in this situation I was doing gymnastic for three months I was very you know that was my life. Yeah, it was, it an was like somehow. military yeah, training. So, anyway. And I did it also in this way, maybe. I, mean, I did it this way to prepare this character, actually. Yeah, closer to the... Yeah. Oh, yeah, we never learned what, what, what mountain she picked. Yeah. I don't think so. I know, but me, I know. Even you, you don't know? Or no, do I you know, know, I know, okay. I choose. I have my little stories for this character. I was, I was researching... Because in the film, uh, the, the leader of the group, the, the Tom Cruise of the group, let's say, cause <laughs> I, I'm calling him Mission Impossible, but like for wackos, and he picks Mont Blanc, yeah. which is like the biggest one. It's even got a pen named after it. Yep. And... Do you want uh, me to tell you mine? I feel like it, because I get a sense that it's right underneath, in terms of size, it's right underneath Mont, Monte Rosa, I think. Uh, Monte Rosa, it's not me. We decided it's uh, no, it's number. She that's she, the second highest mountain. Yeah. And my, I have like I have a theory about <laughs> about one aspect of the film. I think there's an allegory for uh, ageism, and now younger actresses, and I think you might be younger than your co co star. Yeah. So I think it's about young people replacing older people, and. Anyway, it was mentioned in the audience and I was thinking the exact same thing. So I was thinking for sure the mountains have something to do with that. And I was thinking her mountain might be small and minuscule, but I might be, I might be wrong. So Mine is, I don't know if you know it. Even. Of course not. Why would I it's, know? Uh, the name of this mountain is Pitz Bernina. Okay. And I choose it just for the sound. I find it very pop. I love it. Pitz Bernina. Yeah. It's, it's got an Italian a... part and it's a small one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Pitz Bernina. It sounds like a it sounds like a cool club in Berlin or something so, like a, yeah <laughs> yeah, it's yeah like in the east part of Berlin or something. Um, but for sure, it's the smallest and the you know less important one. <laughs> so right now, in terms of uh, your career, um, do you reside in do you reside in Greece? Like like, what are your future acting parts? Um, uh, now I, I where was are you going for with three that? years in Greece okay. and I'm moving to London. Okay, but. And I have an agent in Paris now because I, also, I would like to work in my language. Your native French? And, yeah, I would like. Yeah. Uh, and it's going on. But I'm moving to London to also work in London. Okay. But I think my next project is going to be in Italy. Italian? Yeah. Oh, great. So, <laughs> so horseback European, riding yeah. and Italian together or something like that? Yeah, I have to learn Italian actually maybe for this one. Wow, thank you so much for <laughs> the generous... Uh, energy that you bring to your characters. I did see Adam Brig last year and, uh, and with this together it, uh, it certainly is a treat to see you on screen so uh, I wish you the best of luck with, uh, with careers in English, French, Italian and Greece. Hey this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.